हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज शांत वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अगेन आई होप यू आर ऑलरेडी टेकिंग वेरी गुड प्रिपरेशन फॉर द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स लाइक एस एस सी सी जी एल सी एच एस एल एम टी एस पी एस सी बैंक एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स today in this class i will discuss some important rules related to modal auxiliary verbs this modal auxiliary verb related questions are often given in the competitive exam so you have to do the different rules of modals before sitting for the exam so kindly keep your focus on the board i would like to start my class now look through the first <coughs> option or two so there are two types of modals one is called modal another is called semi modal now it is all about semi modals all are parts of the modals or two where to use or two is used you can say or two means shoot indicates advice obligations or suggestions whenever you are going to mean some kind of advice or obligation or suggestion you can use the semi modal or two now look through the example we ought to help the needy that means we should help the needy you can say it's a, uh, it's a, it is our obligation or you can say <coughs> it's a suggestion but apparently it looks an obligation we ought to help the needy that means poor now look through the next question you ought to pay your fees you should pay your fees so it is also about advice or you can say it is also about some kind of obligation whenever you are having the service you have to pay the fees you have to pay the fees so what i would like to highlight is that in case of obligation or advice or suggestions you can use or to if questions are given related to modals or to can also be given in that case these rules will be helpful for you better selection so this is uh, the perfect example of using or to particularly it indicates some kind of advice obligation or suggestion now look through the next Same <coughs> modal have to has to or had to. Where to use? This these modals are used while indicating necessity, obligation, etc. So one modal can be used in different places. <coughs> Now look through the next example. They have to be punctual. You can say, or we have to obey the traffic rules. so all this indicates some kind of obligations so in case of obligation we have to or we can easily use had to or has to we can also use had to if it is in the past tense so while indicating <coughs> necessity or obligation etc same modals like have to has to or had to be used for example they have to be punctual they have to be particular about time we have to obey the traffic rules so all are related to some kind of necessity driven obligation all are related to some kind of necessity driven obligation we have the necessity we to have the obligation now look through the next same modal oop Would is a very interesting semi-modal. 
<coughs> you can say generally it is also called the modal many do not call it as semi modal now look through the rules indicates habitual action in the past that means the action that used to happen regularly in the past or also in case of polite request you can also use would now look through the example i would swim in the pond every morning i would swim in this pond every morning it indicates some kind of habitual actions in the past that means i used to swim regularly in the in this pond every morning now in case of polite request would you let me in would you, would you allow me in while making some polite request you can also use would so it doesn't mean that you have to only use may or can while making a request you can also use would so options can be given in many ways so may or can may not be the options instead of may or can would can also be the option then would to be selected so these are uh, some rules related to semi modals particularly ought to have to has to or had to and would so if you are unable to understand any part of this short analysis you can easily drop your comments in the comment box section but if you think my video is helpful for your exam you can easily share my video subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell icon for more such video tomorrow i will come up with another episode of some new rules related to modal auxiliary verb for your competitive exam kindly wait for my next class till then have a very good day